Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I've got a fun little 3D project for you. This would make a nice little birthday um, treat or even a thank you, you know, a party favor. I'm gonna change the design up a little bit. As you can see right here, you can see the truck on that side and then the back is blank. I'm gonna show you how to stamp it so that the truck is on this side of the package. Um, I didn't want to completely redo the project when I was done and I thought about it, so I thought let's try it in the video. So that's what we're gonna do. Inside is a little box of Tic Tacs. These are from the dollar store. They come three to a pack. It's smaller than the normal size Tic Tac. It's, a, it's like a mini Tic Tac. Okay, let's do our stamping first. We're gonna stamp this truck several times. Um, I'm gonna use a Stamparatus because we're gonna stamp, we're gonna do mirror stamping for that back side. The first thing that we wanna do is cut it or stamp it regular, okay? So I'm gonna put it right where I want it, right there, okay? Let's pick it up. I need to move that magnet a bit. There we go. All right, now let's stamp it. And I'm gonna stamp it in Memento. Like that. All right, whoops. See, this is why you wanna do the Stamparatus. If you have a mistake, you can just lay it back down and pick it back up and it's perfect. Now, we're gonna stamp also the, the truck, really just this part, onto this designer series paper. Now, if you want, you can do it twice. Well, I guess you're gonna have to do it mirror if you, if you want it onto the, the backside. But I'm just gonna leave that part white, I think. All right, there we go. Now, let's do our mirror stamping. All right, to do mirror stamping, you need a silicone mat. You can see I've done mirror stamping with the turtle before. And I'm gonna stamp this on to the silicone mat, and then I'm gonna lay my paper down, peel it up, and that's gonna give us the reversed image of the truck. Okay, so stamp it really good. And we wanna make sure it stamps that tire that it hasn't been doing a great job of on the other piece, because you need to get the full image. Okay, looks good. Now I'm just gonna take this and lay it and get an impression basically. And there it is. So now we'll have it for the back, the flip side. Okay, now if you want the flip side to have this, you would do the same thing here and then lay your designer series, series paper on there as well. I'm just gonna leave the back side blank for the sake of the video. All right, let's color and put together our cute little um, front side truck first. You need your paper snips, and mine have suddenly disappeared. All right, you want to take your paper snips and cut out just the box part of this uh, truck. And I'm gonna stay right in the middle of the line because we're gonna match up those lines in a little while um, when we adhere it. This is the Your Biggest Fan Designer Series paper. It's that baseball themed paper. I really like this bumblebee print with the stars. Okay. Now we're gonna adhere it to our normal truck. Like that. And then I'm gonna color this front side. I decided to go with Poppy Parade. And I'm gonna start with my light. Let's 
see, I think I would rather use this side, the bullet tip. I wanna make sure I stay in the lines. And I'm just gonna give this door a full coating of Poppy Parade. And then we'll add in a little bit of the dark for some kind of shading and some contrast. Now our salmon blends are wonderful because they won't show these the streaks of your markers. Um, you'll look like a professional because everything will be nice and smooth. I think I'm gonna put some dark right there as well. Now I'm gonna take my light and go over it again so that that dark blends into the light. There we go. Now we're gonna take Smoky Slate, and I think I'm just gonna use the light, and we'll color these bumpers. Like that. All right, now the window you can leave white, but I used Pool Party, and I'm gonna color that in just with light Pool Party like that. All right, now what we need to do is cut both of these out. Um, take your scissors first and cut away all the extra cardstock. That's going to help um, when you don't have all that bulky cardstock hanging around. It's easier to get in all the little small places that you need to get into. All right, now this time instead of cutting right on the line, I'm going to leave a white border around the image. I'm gonna go all the way around. And I'm using the small, my little paper snips, staying right in the middle of that blade. And I'm just gonna leave kind of like a little cloud around so that I don't, you know, accidentally cut off any bits of the truck and Truly, your eye will only see the black line of the image. And then we'll do the same with the other one. Now, of course, if you want to decorate this one the same way, do it, go ahead. But for, like I said, for the sake of the video, we're just gonna leave it white. Outside, Charlie. All right, now we have our two trucks. Let's make the box. This is how they're gonna go like this. Let's make the little box that goes on the inside. You're gonna need your Simply Scored and a piece of thick basic white that is three and three fourths by five. On the long side, we're gonna cut it, or score it at one and a half, two and a fourth, three and three fourths, and four and a half. Turn it to the short side and score it at three fourths and three. All right, grab your bone folder. Burnish all those lines nice and crisp. And then we're going to do some snipping with our paper snips. Now you can see on this side we've got two skinny sections. On the, skin, the side that you have two skinny sections, the first thing that I want you to do is cut off the corners, the two pieces in the corner, okay? Now we're gonna go around 
and snip all of these. And on the middle tab right here, I'm gonna cut the corners off. Okay, do the same thing over here. Snip, snip, and snip, and then snip the corners off. Now, these right here, we want these to be the same width as this one, so just cut them in half. They're gonna be tucked inside the box, so it doesn't have to be exact. Now, cut the corners off of these three tabs, okay? This is just going to make sure that there is no gap in our box. It's the little flaps that we tuck down into the box. All right, now all you need to do is put some adhesive right here. And I'm gonna use Stampin' Seal Plus. You can use Terran Tape or Tombow. And I'm gonna fold the back up like this and then sandwich that around those. Now those tabs in there, you can adhere those up or down, whichever you want, but I just left them. All right, the little tic-tac goes in, and then you close your box like that. All right, so I decided to put around, a, just as a decoration, some of this um, silver, sil silver cord. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It's a little bit awkward, but there you go. <laughs> Just holding that box, making it still. All right, let's cut the ends off of that. Now we're gonna take our two truck boxes and I'm gonna start with the one in the front and I'm gonna adhere it to that. Okay, and I think we'll just use Stampin' Seal Plus. All right, now you want to make sure that it's centered and not sticking up too high, too far back, or too low. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same with the backside truck. This time, I'm gonna stand it up to make sure that these guys match. Okay, and then kind of squish it, and there it is, it stands up. Now we're not quite through decorating it. I have a um, stitched star, Poppy Parade. We're gonna put that right in the middle. We're gonna get what's left of our DSP, or our basic white. We just need a strip of it. We'll use our trimmer here, and we're gonna stamp birthday wishes. Now this stamp has more. It says birthday wishes, uh, signed, sealed, and delivered. But I'm just gonna do the birthday wishes. You could put the signed, sealed, delivered on the backside. That would be cute. All right, we're gonna... Well, I didn't do a very good job. Let's try that again. Um, you can mask off those words at the bottom, but I like to just do it like this where I can see where I'm stamping. Let's make sure I get the bottoms of the words. I was worried about getting the tops of that second line, but I didn't get enough of that bottom. There we go. All right, now let me grab my little trimmer. And you just wanna trim this down so it's about a half an inch. And of course you can do that before you stamp the words if you'd like. All right, now I'm gonna take my tailored tag punch and just flag those ends to make a little banner. And then we'll stick that right in the middle of our star. And there you go. Now I think you could fit other things inside here. Uh, Tic Tacs is what I had, but I think, you know, if you filled it with M&Ms or Skittles um, or um, Hershey Nuggets, I think you could get two Hershey Nuggets in there. I think that would be adorable. All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube to go back to my blog. There's a free PDF there for you, um, as well as those two other best delivery projects. Thanks, guys. Let me know if you have questions. Bye-bye.